just how difficult was the experience, obviously. It's great to get out there with the ride. Yeah. Um, overall, I think it was a fun experience. Uh, just being able to play for my teammates and getting that first game out of the way definitely, uh, you know, feels better. And you can just look forward and get better as a team. Was it a difficult decision? I wouldn't say difficult because, uh, you know, I love football and, you know, I love looking to play for my teammates and that's what I came out here to do. <coughs> What was the kind of final straw? Coach said you went back and talked to your parents. What was kind of made the final decision? Um, so after I talked to my parents, you know, uh, they asked me if I was ready. I said yeah, and we just went from there. Uh, uh, just look forward to playing and doing my thing. When did you first feel like you were ready? Uh, I. I'd say somewhere in October. You know, coming in as a freshman, uh, you have a lot to learn, especially as a quarterback. So it took, it definitely took some time, and uh, you know, I'm still getting comfortable. Uh, you know, and uh, getting used to the speed of the game. What do you think you learned tonight against that defense that'll help you be even better two weeks from now when you go back out there? Uh, definitely, like uh, timing in the pocket, getting rid of the ball quick, uh, being decisive and uh, hold on to the ball. So. How difficult was that Temple front? Obviously, they're well, pretty good. They, yeah. They were in your face well, quick. They were definitely uh, pretty good. Um, I thought we did a good job, you know, making some plays when we could. And, uh, you know, we just fought. Is there a highlight that stands out to you, obviously? The outcome wasn't what you wanted, but was there a certain play or a highlight that you um, stuck out? I'd just say, uh, you know, just going out there and being able to play for my Especially for the captains and the seniors, and uh, you know, just playing until the end, trying my hardest. How have your conversations been with Brian this week? Oh, me and Brian are cool. You know, it's like a big brother to me. You know? So now he's just kind of a mentor, you know, because he played his freshman year at NC State. Just give me some tips and pointers uh, about the game. So he was supportive, and it wasn't yeah. uncomfortable at all. Or? No, you know. Um, it was kind of a sudden change, but you know the energy and the players like they handled it well, and everyone was really supportive, especially in the quarterback room. So there was never any talk of this being the only start. It was always that you're going to start the rest of the season. Um, yeah. yeah. Coach said it didn't seem like you had a lot of time. Did you feel rushed, or did you, or did you start feeling a little bit um, more relaxed as the game went on? I definitely felt more comfortable and relaxed as the game went on. The speed of the game slowed down, and. Uh, uh, you know, just try to do my best. So you, you feel like most of what you do the rest of the year will be to build yeah. uh, things for next year? Um, definitely, you know, I'm going to finish up strong for these seniors. You know, the last year players do my best to, you know, contribute to the team success. But, um, yeah, so getting some more experience for next season as well. How, how were the seniors in the locker room? Uh, Disappointed. You know, of course, you're disappointed after the season because uh, all the work they put in the, uh, this past off season. And I came in in the summer and I saw all the work they put in. Um, you know, everyone wants to win. And of course, you're going to be disappointed. Yeah. Brian said he run with you during camp. Can you run me through how he's helped you get to this point? Yeah, just you know, from the start of camp, he was just giving me tips and pointers and. You know, just telling me to just go out there and play my game, don't overthink it, and that really helped. And he's kind of like a big brother to me, so. What was it like? I mean, the coach was talking about, you know, look like you were going to play a month ago, and then you had to had to go through some, some yeah. rehab. What, what, what was it like to like, get this chance against the pretty tough situation? Um, You know, at first it was... It came, it, it happened fast, you know, one, one morning I wake up, you know, I'm playing the red shirt for the rest of the season, and then, you know, a few hours later, I make the decision, the coaches make the decision as the staff, you know, that I'm going to go ahead and play this game. So I just took it one step at a time, just listened to all my coaches and listened to my teammates' advice, and uh, just went on with it and tried to play my best. Did it take some soul search? I mean, you look at it, if you lose uh, this game and there's two <laughs> two games to play, just with not a lot on the line, is it something you have to really give a lot of thought to? Yeah, um, you know, I didn't really let the pressure get to me, though. You know, you can't, as a quarterback, you just have to go out and play your game, especially, you know, my position as a young quarterback. 
Um, so I just try to play the best for my teammates. So. What do you think you can learn from, from, from how this game went for you? Uh, definitely getting rid of the ball quicker and, uh, you know, ball security. So. What about that uh, big run you had there in the yeah, second quarter? <laughs> uh, I don't uh, Just instincts took over, I guess. Just saw opening and took off. So that was pretty exciting. And how did you feel about the rest of the game? Um, I felt like, you know, we moved the ball well in certain situations. Um, you know, me as a new quarterback, uh, Coach Corley as a new uh, offensive coordinator, um, you know, we still have a lot to learn, and me and him are going to grow stronger over the years, and the offense is going to get a lot better. So. Uh, talk about these last three games you got coming up. Um, I'm excited for him. Just looking to finish up the season strong, learn as much as I can, and finish up strong for the teams. I'm really happy to get your feet wet yeah. you know, and, and get that part of the way that you're in a game now. Yeah, definitely, you know, kill the nerves. Uh, so now I know what to look forward to, the speed of the game. Um, still have a lot to learn, but... Taking it one step at a time. Do you think this bye week is going to be beneficial to review the film and all that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. reviewing the film, just getting away for a little bit, you know, uh, uh, coming back stronger, uh, you know, getting rid of some of the sores and stuff. So. You talk about the speed of the game. The first half, some guys, like guys had a difficult time getting to your offense. But the second half, you seemed like you were settled in. Was it the speed of the game or just more plays? He was getting more comfortable with it. I feel like it was both. Um, you know, definitely you come out first college game, it's going to be a little faster, especially, you know, since your last game was in high school. Um, but, you know, the offense came out stronger in the second half. Definitely we got more comfortable as the offense. We're able to move along in certain, certain situations. We saw a couple, three or four weeks ago where they were having you work in practice, mm -hmm. took you off the scout team and put you on with the first and second team offense. How, how much do you think the, those couple of weeks are going to help you down the road? Uh, you know, that definitely helped me a lot, just being able to get in early with the, you know, uh, first and second well, offense. Um, you know, I was used to going up against the first team defense, the scout team, which helped me a lot too. Become a better, uh, you know, quarterback on this level. So. What did Brian tell you? Maybe before the game, after the game, anything? What advice was he giving you? Um, he just said, you know, play your game, don't overthink it, just go out and have fun. So. Was he giving you advice during the game too? When he came back off the field? Yeah, he would just check on me, you know, ask me if I was alright, ask me how I was doing and stuff. So. Right before the game, what's going on through? You're like getting butterflies? Or you're getting uh, you know, there's definitely butterflies. I try not to, you know, think about things too much because it's still just football. So, you know, just wanted to go out and play my best. Well, difficult is that your first game and, you know, you guys know as the seniors don't get a bowl game. It's a tough situation for a, for a kid your age. But what what are your thoughts kind of kind of how, how unfortunate it ends in this game and how it's going to impact the rest of the season? You know, um... I definitely wanted to win for the seniors, but, you know, a lot of them have come up to the locker room and told me, you know, don't let it get to you, you know, stay strong and just finish up strong, finish up the season strong. So. Thanks, Thanks,